Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about ancient Egypt. Egypt is a country along the northern border of Africa along the Mediterranean Sea. A very famous river runs through Egypt and it is called the Nile River. The Nile River is the longest river in the entire world. Along this river, the ancient Egyptians built many of their most infamous monuments and treasured structures such as pyramids, temples, and royal burial sites. Since most of Egypt is a desert, the Nile River provided fertile land that was important for growing crops such as wheat, flax, and papyrus. Ancient Egyptians ate a lot of bread and grains. However, they were able to hunt animals such as gazelles, cranes, and even the hippopotamus. They would go fishing and then salt and preserve their catch. This was called curing and it is very important to the Egyptians, so only certain people were actually allowed to do it. Honey was a beloved sweetener, along with dates, figs, raisins, and other dried fruits. Thanks to the fertile lands along the Nile River, they were able to enjoy vegetables like celery, garlic, onions, and papyrus, and fruit like pomegranates, grapes, and plums. Something that you may think about when you imagine the ancient Egyptians is their jewelry. What you may not have known is that the colors of their jewelry had meaning. Green represented health. Red represented strength. Blue represented rebirth. Yellow represented the sun. White was for purity or for religious observations. And black was for death. Something else you may have noticed is that women and men both wore makeup. Ancient Egyptians considered beauty a sign of holiness. It is thought that the use of black eyeliner around their eyes was also to reduce the glare from the sun. Many of us recognize the early writing and drawings of Egyptians known as hieroglyphics. These looked like pictures, but were actually much more than that. While Egyptian writing can be found on walls of pyramids and temples, they also used a very early form of paper called papyrus paper. Egyptian used the inside stalk of the papyrus plant, peeled them into strips, and then cross-hatched both vertically and horizontally the leaves, pressed and dried to form the sheet of paper. This was a relatively cheap way to make paper, but as time went on, it was replaced by other materials. A famous Egyptian woman most of us know is Cleopatra. She was known for her beauty, and she was a ruler like a queen or a president in Egypt. A famous Egyptian pharaoh you may have heard of was named King Tut. He is famous because he became the ruler of Egypt when he was only nine years old. Unfortunately, he did not rule for very long because he died at the age of 18, and to this day nobody truly knows the cause of his death. He was buried in a famous golden coffin in the Valley of the Kings. The tomb of King Tut his mummy, along with many other ancient artifacts, were discovered in 1922. His burial mask is one of the world's best known works of art. Lastly, let's take a look at some of the instruments that ancient Egyptians would play, and let's listen to what some of that music sounded like. I hope you have enjoyed talking about this ancient culture and that you enjoy the music sample. Have a great day, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and make our 
mummy hot dogs. So I took a package of crescent rolls and I unrolled them, uh, leaving two pieces together at a time so that they would form a rectangle. And now I'm just pressing the seams together to create uh, one piece of dough instead of separate pieces. So just kind of pinching along the midline and then pressing it down, flattening out just a little bit. We don't want it to be too thick. Okay, that looks about good. Now we're gonna take our pizza cutter and we're actually going to use it to just make strips out of the dough. And that's what we're going to use to wrap around our hot dogs. You don't have to be perfect about it. They can be um, thick or thin, however you like them. Um, it doesn't really matter, but what we're gonna do is wrap them around the hot dogs. So you don't have to be perfect about it. Okay, let's take our hot dogs now and it's really easy. All we're going to do is just simply wrap the dough around the hot dog. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if your dough kind of splits apart a little bit. You'll find as your dough kind of gets a little bit warmer uh, since it's been out of the refrigerator uh, that it might get a little softer and it might break apart a little bit easier, but that's okay. That's all you do. You just take your strips wrap them around the hot dog in any particular order it, it doesn't matter you could do the whole hot dog or just the middle whatever you like i'm just kind of wrapping um probably about three to four pieces uh, around the hot dog and then i'm just kind of making sure that i take the two pieces that i wrapped around and kind of just pressing along where the seams meet that way it sticks together And again, the great thing about this is it doesn't have to be perfect. They're gonna turn out great anyways. Um, it, they're super fun and they're easy and simple to make as either a snack or um, a nice light lunch. I have my oven preheating. Um, it is set to 375 degrees. For this one, we're gonna take a piece of cheese. Uh, and again, I just took a square piece of cheese and I um, used my pizza cutter to just cut a nice thin strip. And I put that on the hot dog. And again, the same process, just wrapping that those strips of dough around the hot dog. We wanna make sure that our cheese is secure and that it doesn't fall out. We just kind of wrap it up there. And then when it's in the oven, that'll melt and kind of make more of a cheese dog if you like that. Now I used, I happen to have white cheddar cheese, that's what I used, but you can use any kind of cheese that you would like. Alright, that looks pretty good. And again, you can even roll it just like I did um, to just try to make sure that that dough is secure, uh, that the seams between each of your dough strips, um, that they kind of meet and they're pressed together so it doesn't separate. Um, if they're not kind of stuck together whenever it goes into the oven, uh, you might find that it kind of maybe pulls apart on you. Uh, so we just want to kind of make sure that it's nice and secure. All right, here we go. Our hot dogs are ready. They're mummified and ready for the oven. We're going to place them in the oven for 11 to 12 minutes. And here they are when they are done. They look delicious.